sorry for the noise. It's Bambi now. Um, I was meant to have a girl's day out today or evening tonight, but I am not feeling well. I'm thinking of pottering in the van, but I'm not sure. But what I am doing is moving it back onto the street so I've got some more room and I can tidy this front yard a bit um, because my upstairs neighbour has moved his car and he's moved his work truck over a bit so I'm thinking that's to allow me because I mentioned it a couple weekends ago and I just haven't been we haven't caught each other to do it and it's gonna be a bit more of a walk getting stuff out there but then I'll have some more room I can set up to, for, for cutting and stuff like that because my extension cord won't reach up there so that's what I'm doing see if I can get there and I hope I've cleaned everything from under the van I've got a few hoses and that that I need to remove but I've got them all secured for just this move onto there wish me luck okay she's back on the street Got enough room for my neighbour and my upstairs neighbour can get out. A bit more of a trek bringing stuff in and out, but it'll be a lot easier. It's hard trying to manoeuvre stuff in through the back doors because there was that tree back there. Um, but I'm in full sunlight. My fan, my solar fan is awesome. Like it's quite a hot day and I don't know why I'm wearing a jacket. Whenever I'm not feeling well, I tend to rug up. I might have to take this off, otherwise I don't think I'll be ouch, doing anything. Maybe I shouldn't anyway. I just don't like sitting still, even when I'm not well. I hate not doing something. But I've got the car out here, the van, sorry. And it feels good. She looks gorgeous on the road. Poor little thing hidden behind the big tree in the front yard. So, i got plenty I can do, I'm just really stuck on where I want, I don't know if I can do much stretching today, <laughs> maybe I'll just edit some videos, <laughs> sort some stuff out inside, but I really want to get stuff done, I haven't taken any painkillers today, maybe I'll do that come back and oh yeah play with this other fan see if I can get that in there but I'm super happy and it's not that loud it'll turn like I could fall asleep to that it's like nice white noise but it is like I mean look at that and that is pure sun energy baby no wiring <laughs> now if I could just find pieces of equipment like that for everything I need in here I'd be happy um, but hey I'm gonna learn stuff along the way this checks that all my one of my pieces fell down but it was only um, one of these it was only taped up until I worked out what I was doing so yeah I might just go and take a couple painkillers put it down call the top on and and take it from there but this makes a big difference it's a little warm up that end because that's where the sun's coming and I've only got that kind of propped up to try and keep the sun out but compared to even in winter when it was parked out the front here and I was pulling stuff out it's just there's air like before it was just like suffocating and because there was no airflow, like there's no wind today, don't see any movement, so there's no breeze whatsoever. But this, or well, I can feel it coming in the back back door because this is, <coughs> excuse me, is sucking out hot air. So I can feel around my legs that it's coming in from the back and whooshing up there. But it doesn't like my delightful hair but you can tell it's not like it's, it's not like gonna I'm not gonna lose stuff but oh hello 
sorry. <laughs> I'm gonna go now. Bye. Okay, so if you saw one of my other videos, I brought myself a fan to go with. So this one sucks hot air out. It's just one direction. Um, I didn't have to wire it. It's just a solar panel up the top. It's a um, Four Seasons Attic Solar Fan by Canada Go Green. I'll, I'll check up a link if I remember by the time I edit this video. And then this was just uh, an air vent. It did have... Where did I? I don't know. I had to move stuff. But it had like a little box here with a switch so it looked like it had a fan in there at one point but I'm not sure what size or anything so I thought oh I'll just get that it's a conversion kit so you know the ones apparently come with just a little fan like this in a vent and that's meant to replace that for three or four different uh, brands of vents and it doesn't fit in here it is not their fault it is my lack of research even though I've done loads, but um, I'm not really one for returning stuff, especially when it's my own fault and if I think I can still use it. So that's what I'm doing. I am just folding back this because this was lipped over, made a bit of a mess of that, but I'll tidy that up. I'll treat this rust and clean all this up. <laughs> helps if I put the camera on there, sorry. So, clean this up, like, I'm, I'm straightening this out. I'll tidy this up where I mangled it, pulling off the, the little control box there. I'll clean all this. The seal doesn't look too good, but this is going to stay open the whole time. So i got to work out how to keep that open because it's got a connection there so that you can adapt to it and do it, but like I said, I messed up and it's not for this one I could probably adjust it but I'm not that good <laughs> so fixing this up and then I'll slide this one up in there and attach it only thing that's holding it back is these little these little knobs so I've cut one off here it's cut off there and down there it's not totally smooth right down because I'm doing it with a with a hacksaw blade but I'll cut them all off squeeze it in there if it needs a bit more then I can just like sand them but it's like a couple millimeters nothing too big um, yes and this is directly after me saying I'm gonna go inside and take some painkillers I get sidetracked so my plan is to just potter and try and see if I can get the van, the van, the fan to fit in the van. <laughs> I shouldn't try and be funny when I'm tired and sore. <laughs> um, that's my plan. Oh wow, I'm really rhyming. Whew, that's bad. So the goal is to fix this area so that thing will go in here thinking my battery bank is gonna I'm gonna pop it here and then this is a nice solid I've got these where I can do a nice solid frame and have all my control boxes and such this is what I'm thinking right now so we'll see when it comes to putting furniture in and um, where they can go because I'm repurposing stuff that's already in a shape <laughs> it's already a box kind of deal and that might not even work I might have to just pull those apart and use the wood but see how we go I'm dribbling so I'm gonna sign off and keep you updated later bye okay I was trying to set my camera up so I could show you me doing it <sighs> let's see what I'm doing I, I pulled those out as much as I could can't quite get them straight and out but I also banged it back so can't really tell there it's on an angle so I'm just banging this back further I had to disconnect the corners so they, they were joined 
not very well just by the the bottom there but they were um, joined that way but they were making it quite small so I have cut off the little groove things that were there and now let me see if I can do this one-handed without dropping and breaking everything let's see okay so now fingers fingers okay I need to still do a little adjusting and and tapping and, and cleaning it up like I've got to clean the inside up but I think that'll do I can get it up in a bit further because my head is gonna hit that once my floors in for sure but a fan is better than no fan and <laughs> Um, I like to make things work so I just need to pound that out not pound but gently encourage it out a little more and then once I got it so that it'll come up high enough so it's not down so low I'm not too fussy at this point if it does come down it's still not going to be as bad as the the air conditioner was like down here by the time you had the ceiling and that and I forever hit my head on that and it was huge so I'm happy with this um I might have to stop for a little while and go ahead and do what I said earlier and take painkillers <laughs> um and I'll keep you updated I got it in Whew. It's uh, a little crooked <laughs> and I need to bring these back in. I can't remember if I filmed that I did seal it on the inside. All the banging and that, I didn't want to risk sealing, uh, breaking a seal and I will also. So I just need to bring that in. And then work out how I'm going to cover it up and make it look pretty once it's done. But I did it. It's not hooked in yet and obviously the wire's not meant to come out there. That's where the little handle to up and down the thing that I'm leaving permanently open. Um, but yeah, I'm very happy with that. Oh, sorry, just looking at stuff. So, when I work out my electronicals, I'm just making up words. Um, I'll be, be able to hook it up. Ooh, sorry, slow going today. So, I've cut out the rest of the big pieces for the ceiling, which I used to hold that up while I screwed it in. Um, so now I'm just going to potter and put the rest of that up and maybe get the floor in today. Or at least be ready to put the floor in tomorrow. We'll see. Hi again. So I don't know how to take it easy. <laughs> um, I just keep doing stuff. Although I have to say putting stuff in way easier than pulling it out so I can just plod along and it's nothing too strenuous right now so I covered up my other wheel well I've got the fan in and now I'm putting this down on the floor and I'm gonna try and do the floor at least start on the floor and then I can um, get the rest of that blue stuff up and attach it a little better it's I was just trying to make sure that I was using all the scrap pieces and stuff and whatnot so yeah working on the floor I'll keep you posted okay so it's not finished but and not properly attached. I'm just 
piecing stuff together to see how it goes. But bubble wrap, which is right on top of here, bubble wrap. This is my dipped in bit. I've been calling it a gully because I don't know. It's usually where the gully, you know, the kitchen is. Um, that's filled in. And then this is a big desk that I had, um, which looks small in here. It looks huge in a bedroom, but small in here, which makes me feel kind of good. But that fits nicely and raise it a bit and I had enough of that left over so then that'll bring up to the level of this because that won't go down any further but I'd have to try and still lift it a bit before I can put the floor on and the floor is a little flimsy I do have something going over the top of that but this nice and sturdy so I've got that and then all these bits here I'll be putting the blue and then my wood panelling, which is really thin, but the dudes at the shop said it would be fine, but we'll see. Um, and then I've got like a rubber matting that I'm putting on top of that as a floor. Because it's easy to clean and whatnot. So, just plodding along. Still got a bit of daylight, and so I'm... I just wanted to lie it all down to see how it would, would feel. And I had to kind of put the flooring on while I'm dealing with this because I was kind of popping it a little bit. So I'm trying to do that. And then I can work around the edges and watch a lot of people scream at me for doing it. <laughs> all higgledy-piggledy <laughs> later. Okay, so I'm back inside. Um, and I was having a break for a few hours and I'm getting all sore again so I thought I'd start moving. This is what's going to be my bed. Um, all these slats came from a bed that a neighbour had put out. It was a really nice bed head but that's out in the van because I was, my brain was ticking and I was trying something out but yeah I'm still not sure. Thought I'd have a good night's rest and have a look at it again tomorrow. But just trying to think if those slats will be wide enough. Can't have it too close here. Uh, not wide enough. Narrow enough. Because I don't want to fall between them. I'm not sure on the mattress I'm using yet. Um, so I, I've got some foam cushions from the big couch over there that I was thinking, but then that might just kind of squish between there, so, but I might, I've got, there were long slats that came with the bed as well, which are about this thickness, so, but I'm going to see if I can use them for a little bit of framework in the car, in the van. And then if there's some left over, perhaps I could use them to to bring the the gap a little closer together. So I don't fall through. So that's that idea. And then I gotta work out um I need to raise it because I don't want it that low in the bed in the van. And if I have it near the wheel, well, I'll have to, I'm, I'm trying to think of where it would fit. But where I was thinking where it wouldn't, like the back part would just be high enough to go over it. But then I'm thinking of the battery bank in that spot. And so, um, but after tomorrow, once I've, Hopefully tomorrow I'll have the all the floor in, not the final covering, but I'll I'll have the floor in, and then I can maybe the covering. I'm not sure because I've got a lot of it. It's a a rubber matting, so that might help with. I don't know yet. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just so tired. 
work is long and painful and then I'm working on the van every weekend, which I, I love, but I'm just constantly tired. <laughs> and so ideas are slow coming at the moment. But whenever I try and rest, I get all all jittery and I, I need to get up and move and do stuff. So this is my my cupboard. I've banged in all the staples that look like they might need to hold on or were just easier to bang in further instead of trying to rip out. I'm hoping I'll have enough of the wall covering that I've got in the van to go over this and make it all pretty and yeah and then I've got to try and work out what kind of shelving unit I'm doing in there um, this is probably going to be the only storage like solid storage I have is this and my bed and I'm still debating whether I'm going to strip that one down or not or like even use that um, because I think it would fit at the back. It was very uncomfortable. So, like, it just needs new cushions and stuff. So, yeah. So I'm going to stand here scratching my head a little longer. And I'll keep you posted. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe.